Frozen, Godzilla, Thor, The Amazing Spider-Man, Ant-Man, Captain Marvel. What do all these films have in common? They're movies where science and science fiction collide. Inside Science TV. From the final frontier to a frozen fantasy world, scientists and storytellers are working together to bring facts into fiction films. Hollywood reaches more people than arguably any other group in the world, and I think that it has the opportunity to inspire more people than any, any other group in the world. Connecting art and science is the focus of the people who work at the Science and Entertainment Exchange. Movie and TV screenwriters, directors, producers, art directors, and set designers have access to a database of more than 2,000 experts who have answers. We get the wildest questions. A lot of our questions have to do with like space travel and futurists kind of things, but we'll also get crazy emergency room scenarios or crazy ballistics questions. What would a bullet look like traveling through a specific you know, type of material? Although Back to the Future got some things right, is time travel really possible? It's hard to do um, a really great time travel movie that basically stays true to the um, the laws of physics as we understand them. I'd say going back in time seems fairly impossible. From small details. I think from production design, set design, um, you know, art department stuff. Um, sometimes we've had scientists go on to sets and write uh, equations on chalkboards or on dry erase boards on the set that are in the background of shots. Two even smaller details. We did a consult on Frozen about how the snow was falling on the screen, how it looked. The goal is to use science fact to improve the story and to introduce audiences to new science they may not even know existed. We'll fly in scientists from all over the country, usually U.S. based, um, and have them sit down around a table and they're field experts from all the different scientific fields that we believe are part of the storyline and we'll just have them sit and listen to the creative people who are making the movie, the director, the studio executives, the writer, uh, sometimes the art department, um, and they'll all just be around the table and they'll just have a conversation, a super nerdy conversation about the science in the film versus the science in reality. That's what happened in the blockbuster Thor. A physicist was called in to consult the end result, a main character was changed from a nurse to a physicist to make the character's role more realistic and inspiring. To have a strong female physicist in a popcorn summer movie talking about Einstein Rosenbridges, it hopefully impacted kids and got some, I hope, young girls and young kids around the country excited about the possibility of maybe being a theoretical physicist one day. Whether it's an astrophysicist or a mechanical engineer, there's no doubt that the made-up stories created in Hollywood can have a real impact on our world. If you want to be Tony Stark, um, why don't you go get a degree in engineering and maybe you could be the next Tony Stark. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.